If you're coming up and fresh off in the industry, what does it get some good pointers a young person can take to yeah, try to make it? Good it's question. Obviously it's pretty tough. I started out in Montreal, which was fine. You know, they shoot a lot of stuff there. It was like an industry. The best advice I got was to take a class where they had like a showcase at the end. And then like all okay. these managers and agents came and then you kind of like sent out your materials and you were like, I met you at the showcase. Like, I would love to have a meeting and like see if you're interested in representing me. It was good to get my start in Montreal because it was smaller market if there were a couple shows shooting we got I got to do them and then you know after the, that was done I moved to Toronto and at that point I already had a little bit of a resume so I was able to find an agent out there but the first step was definitely like a class and like getting to meet people through that class welcome to amigos pc if you were looking for a podcast with high standards and an appreciation for the finer things in life, like water polo, ballet, equestrian riding, cricket, and trips to the countryside, uh, you're in the wrong place. If you're looking for a podcast that celebrates drinking, random thoughts, wacky conspiracies, memes, crypto, cinema, and a lot of other things that don't really make any sense, then you're in the right place. This is Amigos PC, and here are your hosts, Scott and Mark. Amigos, uh, live, back at it again. Uh, today we have a guest, uh, Erica Deutschman. Uh, she has been in a few Hallmark holiday m films, most recently and notable, Crossroads, which is on the Pop Alternative TV YouTube channel. Hey, Erica, if you could just introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Erica. Uh, yeah, just recently just launched Crossroads on Pop Alternative TV. Introduce myself, like introduce the show or introduce myself, like what do I enjoy doing and what are my hobbies and... <laughs> All, all, of, the all of the above. Okay. Well, Crossroads <laughs> is is about like a delusional actress aptly named Erica who uh, thinks she's really hot shit and she hired a camera crew to follow her around and like document her life like a Kardashian. And she, you know, she just kind of thinks she's a lot more successful and famous than she actually is. So hilarity ensues. And I'm I'm Erica, a little less delusional, but only by a smidge. Um, I, I enjoy tennis. I enjoy long walks on the beach. And, nice. um, you know, what else? Um, my middle name is Jane and I'm a Libra. <laughs> what about you guys? Very cool. Well, I was glad that you made it because I didn't know if, like, in the post system, you were going to be able to get my letter that I wrote uh, being in Rikers and all. <laughs> so uh, I... Mark just got out. Mark what? Got yeah, out how does so. freedom feel finally? <laughs> I still feel uh, claustrophobic. I, I kind of in a closet right now. I'm not sure. Uh, Why were you I in New York? To write you. <laughs> you said you're in Rikers. Why were you in New York? I don't. I, I had a meeting with. No, he wasn't. Wearing yeah, a that's mask. what it was. Yeah, I wasn't wearing a mask. <laughs> <laughs> got you time. No, I'll get you time. Yeah. Yeah. At, yeah. at least you'll be safe in your closet, though. That's true. <laughs> I know I had to be in a confined Mark's space in a just closet. to make sure that I felt at home. Yeah, well, it must be very exciting for you to meet the person you were coursing with from Rikers in in the flesh. Well, almost in the flesh. <laughs> yeah, it was, that's like a true love story right there. Mark. Yeah, yeah. Happy ending. <laughs> Came full circle. <laughs> uh, we, literally, probably. Gross. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't I hear that. He's frozen, or he's he's pondering in thought, or he's, or he's just frozen. Very excited about this. He's starstruck. <laughs> he, is. he is. Yeah. It's like it's funny because I don't know. You see the same thing. It looks like he's biting his lip. Like yes. He's like, yeah. Yeah. He could <laughs> not look more thing. excited. He could not look more excited to see me. <laughs> That's or funny. you. I'm taking yeah. all the credit, but it could. Yeah. Be either way. You. Yeah. It's both. Yeah. It's, it's both. both of us together. <laughs> yeah. It is. It is. We make quite the team. So. Yeah, as he's frozen there. So tell us, or I guess tell me a little bit about, uh, you know, what made you get into acting? Um, it was uh, it was a, a bunch of things. I was really young when I decided it was going to be, that was going to be it for me. So uh, my grandmother was an actress and we'd do like little plays in her house in Kingston. And we'd put, we'd put on like her wigs and her costumes and stuff and like, you know, mess around. And then like, I said, this is so embarrassing, but my sister and I got really into Mary Kate and Ashley, and we were like, 
this is it. This is what I want to do. I mean, look at these girls. They're like having so much fun. They're making these amazing films. <laughs> so, that, so the rest is history. So I have Mary Kate Nashley to thank for my for my journey. <laughs> Did you guys dress up as twins too? Just just, um, just like them? I'm sure or? what not intentionally, but we have an aunt named Margie who would always buy us the same outfits. So Oh, see? And were you guys close in age too, probably? Two or? years, yeah. So okay. Okay, we may as well close. have been yeah it was it was embarrassing <laughs> we still have the that's photos funny. i haven't burned them <laughs> that's one of those things where you're you know you're looking through the the old shoe box of photos you're like oh god what was i doing or what they make me do yeah see it's yeah. like not your choice you're just a kid you know you can't oh, be like this looks ridiculous for you there, oh see he came and pardon marco he came and gone he's, so he's, yeah that was me too my i found some photos of me young as a kid and my aunt when she was in high school, she would, she was taking like photo in school. And I was like, like she had me posing in like trees and stuff. And like, I was wearing like older looking clothes. Like it was weird because I'm like, fashion shoot. you know, put, basically, <laughs> basically. And I was like, and that obviously things you don't want to see. And you're like, what the hell they make me do? Yeah. Like, and you had no choice in the matter. You just, you know, nope. you just took it because you're just a kid. What do you know? Yeah. <laughs> that- very true. No consent. Weird, weird time for you to come back, Mark. Um, yeah. so we're, oh, thank you. we're talking about kid uh, forced photo shoots. What was yours like? Uh, oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> it, do you remember those like 80 glam uh, photos? Oh, JC Penney's? Like, yeah. At the mall? Yeah, kind of like with uh, the mall. Uh, Napoleon Dynamite. It, mm-hmm. it, uh, it, perfect example, glam with Jen, Jen or whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Funny thing, I just watched uh, that this week. Did you? I yeah, did. my, my uh, I don't know what was going through my mom's head when it decided to do that, but uh, yeah, it, it dress up time. Uh, I had like bleach blonde hair at the time too, so it was just uh, I don't know, kids of the corn Sounds look picture perfect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Were you all matching? You done an all matching photo before? Uh, no, no, we never did that. Thank it, God. You ever, yeah. Have you ever seen the video, the, not the video, but the, the meme where like the dad's face is in the one corner and then the family's like sitting there? Yes. Oh yeah. Cause like the dad couldn't we show did, up. And yeah, just, we did one emotions. of those, uh, <laughs> which that was when I seen that meme for the first time, that was like, uh, I didn't realize no, that no. that was a Triggering. weird thing. <laughs> yeah. I hope, mine doesn't, I hope mine doesn't surface one day. Well, it's right. funny you guys got to this because like i literally like a week ago did a photo shoot wearing this very shirt with matching with my friend in front of like a 90s style like backdrop really (laughs) like i literally just did one like as a like nostalgic joke like (laughs) and like he had us like do these weird poses like we're like holding hands or like drinking from a bot like we literally just did this (laughs) That is that's so funny. funny. Wow. Yeah, like I think they're like very fresh on my camera roll. I can, <laughs> I can, I can pull them up. Yeah, there she is. Nice. Oh look! <laughs> oh, oh man! Oh, oh. and you're matching. wearing the same top. <laughs> that is awesome. How could I plan for this? <laughs> no, I know. Right? Yeah, no, that's. <laughs> We do our research pretty good, so I yeah, think you guys are plan. creepy. This yeah. is yeah. this is yeah. verging yeah. on creepy. That's what we do. <laughs> I, I know, I we literally that, hired I, I a private that photo shoot. Yeah, we literally hired a private detective to follow you around a week before you came on the show. You guys did really good. You guys did <laughs> really good. You dug deep. <laughs> we did. I also he's, had to write. He's so prison. good. You can't even notice him in the bushes. Yeah, no, you couldn't. Nope. No, no, I, I would have no idea. I thought, just thought it was another <laughs> fan. I just, you know. Yeah, just, can't yep. escape them. <laughs> You're looking for Erica Rhodes. Yeah, it's like Pokemon Go. So I, uh, I know yeah. that uh, Scott was uh, while whatever was just going on with my video feed and everything. I, I, you know, was able to watch and hear everything. I know Scott just asked you about the uh, yeah, which is creepy too because that, yeah, that sounded really yep. creepy. I don't know why I said <laughs> which that part. Way. The family photos thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, the whole thing. Like when you just asked her the whole um, conversation. How, yeah, but it worked. You out, asked right? her how. Like I was swinging for the fences and it worked out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you asked her how she got into into acting. Yeah. Uh, how did you, Petey, and then uh, Joe Comancho also co-wrote this, right? Yeah. Uh, 
So we how, went how did to, all that? Yeah, good question. It's very convoluted. It's a tw- it's full of twists and turns. Um, <laughs> Peter and I and Jesse actually, but he, he dropped out like weeks in because he booked a yes, TV yes. show. We went to college together back okay. I, I like ten years ago now, maybe okay. less, maybe less. Anyway, we went to college together and. We sort of kept in touch throughout the years, you know, like he had me on the show and, you know, he kept in touch with Jesse too. And then Jesse and I had written this thing a few years ago. We were like, oh, you know, how funny would it be if you played this delusional actress and ha ha. So we wrote a whole series around it. And then like this past year, Peter came to us and was like, do you guys have any like scripted content so I can launch this platform on Popternative? And we're like, yes, we do. So it kind of just like... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> fell into his lap and fell into our lap and we just made this nice little collaboration with like what we sort of already came up with so it worked out quite well now it's funny how things work like that right like you just you're working on a project and you're like you know what i'm just gonna put it to the side for a little bit and yeah. then all of a sudden you know one path just aligns yeah. and not you something happens and you're like yeah yeah actually i have yeah, something calls ready you to asking go asking like, for it is- yeah you're like oh okay yeah. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> He's been stalking us too, apparently. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Private investigators. No, I, yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Keep them on the payroll. Huge creep. <laughs> Huge creep. <Always. free>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I did I noticed you know it, and actually doing some of the research that you and uh, Jesse have done some material you know in the past together too which yeah. uh, one was like a, a it looked like a job interview or maybe like you already had the job and yeah. I, I was still trying to wrap my head around the whole scene of it. But it seemed like Where maybe you, you had the, you all had the job and like you were re-interviewing for the yeah. job or something. Okay, so that was that. W- I didn't realize that link was public. <laughs> <laughs> we we made that a few years ago because we I had a TV show that I was pitching called the Festival. And it was about the Just for Laughs Festival in Montreal. I based it on, I wrote it with my, my my friend who used to work for the festival. She was like, she started as a coordinator and like worked her way up. And she was like, I don't know, she, I won't say her name, but she was like, basically every year it was such a shit show because like, you're like scrambling up until like every, all the celebrities arrive and like, there's like, no one knows what they're doing and it's a miracle anything ever happens. Um, so there were so many stories from this comedy festival that like would have made such a great show from like the, the back end, like the people putting it all together. So, you know, there was like the star fucker and like the, like the one who's like really like intense about the job and like the, the kiss ass and like, there, you know, there's all these different characters. And so we, we were pitching it. So we had to make sort of like material for the pitch package. And that was what it was. It was a job interview for the festival. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. So that's what it was. <laughs> um, but so I, cool. but it's public. So you can go watch the, the pitch and, you know, <laughs> if you, if you find anyone who has lots of money, who wants it, to make it, just let me know. <laughs> it, it, it was extremely funny though. It, it just, a lot of different characters and that the only part that confused me, like I was saying was it, it okay. It, are they, Re- interviewing or are they re- are they making is he making them re-interview which was just like the only I, one I, who was re-interviewing was the red-headed girl who was like really intense because she had been a coordinator the year before <laughs> and like wanted to stay in the program so she had to re-interview for it but the rest of us were new <laughs> oh yeah it, it, just it was clarify. hilarious oh i'm glad you liked it well it's out there so <laughs> yeah, yeah right. other people will see it and you know one day we'll make we'll try and make the show <laughs> so That's i hilarious. see that you uh you do you've done you know like these ho- the hallmark holiday films and then you're doing like these comedy uh sketches you know like crossroads and, and things like that is there a defined uh i don't know not a lot of actors you like, have to be, like, pa- like which one do you which one do you passion more like comedy or is it yeah there you go or do you do like you well you you know what i like about the hallmark christmassy rom-com stuff is that like they're written in a certain way but you can like do you can put your own spin on it you know oh so you do some like improv kind of feel well not like i wouldn't call it improv but like you know how like 
sometimes it's a little cookie cutter, but you can all, but you can like kind of bring your own voice and personality to the character. Oh, that's cool. um, yeah. So like, you know, there were like little things like that you would do throughout where you'd be like, oh, that'll make it like really funny or like that'll make it extra funny. So like I, I like I enjoy bringing that aspect to them because, you know, like they're fun. Um, but yeah, yeah I, I would say like first and foremost, it's, it's comedy. Like they're not like they're not like serious like dramas, you know, like make it fun and light and like bring your own voice to it. Um but yeah, like comedies, comedy is the, the number one for me. I love, I love comedy. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, cool. Like making people laugh is like all I live for. Like if a stranger at the grocery <laughs> store laughs at one, of, like at a joke I make, I'm just like, thank you so much. You don't even know me. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you didn't have to laugh. <laughs> oh my. And then, and then what would you do if like, there's like three people that just start clapping? Oh my god! I'd just probably, randomly, I'd, for my, I'd probably like, die. Oh my god! Okay, I'd die. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah. I, yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah, that's why I can't do stand up, or else I'll just, like if someone laughs, I'll just die. I'll just. Oh no! <laughs> I know. Stayed. I'm sorry, world. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. to deprive you. <laughs> I've, I've, I've made it. Yeah. Now didn't die. <laughs> At least she will have died happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Love doing. You died doing what you love. That's what they yeah, would say, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. What else could you want? <laughs> so now I'm definitely gonna have to start watching more of those with my wife. Then if I didn't know there was more of the Hallmark stuff, is what I'm saying. Um, I have to start watching more of those because if there is a little bit more freedom versus the scripted. Yeah, well, you try. And, you know, I've gotten into writing them as well. So, um, you know, oh. me and my writing partner really try and keep like that strong comedic voice throughout because we're like, yeah, it's a love story. Yeah, it's kind of cheesy, but it's also like, I love a good pun. Like, I love <laughs> a little wordplay, a little snappiness. Like, yeah, I love having that in there. So hopefully, you know, they keep that when they make which is them. Probably, which is probably why the audience is so large. Like, there's it's a good following come Christmas time in. Yeah. I mean, think about it. Like October, probably to like probably January, right? Cold weather time. Yeah. It probably is a good run of just nonstop Hallmark. Yeah. Well, they do them for the season, like for every Christmas. season. They like, they've got yeah. like Christmas is obviously like the, the big one. And then like, yeah. they do like winter and then they do like summer and then like they do Valentine's day and like Christmas in July. Like they have like, They've got them coming wow. all the time, you know? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. It's a, they're churning them out. <laughs> but yeah, they're fun. So what, what, uh, you obviously, you, you had stated uh, previously that you went to college, uh, with, you know, uh, Pete and Jesse, where did the decision of, you know what, I'm going to start pursuing acting seriously did it start in college or was this something you wanted to really get from i know you kind of made mention of it earlier with you know getting the start into mm -hmm. uh the, the reason i i'm kind of like re-asking a little bit is i have a daughter who's like really uh, uh, she's a teenager now she wants to get into acting like so mark mark's looking for your connections yeah pretty hard <laughs> for I'll send you my and, and, Dax, yeah. uh, I, I like having yeah, is it? Well, yeah, I'm looking for your connect. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot, you froze again. I don't actually. Oh, no. I don't okay, know the so serious question. So I only know the Mark's funny question. For your connections. Yeah, exactly. Let and, me just let me just go through my phone and say everybody's email yeah, address. and just say who who can help. Yeah. But no, like I guess if if you're coming up and you know fresh off in the industry, what is a good like some good pointers or some some good avenues that a young person can take to yeah to make it good it's question obviously pretty tough the first thing i did well i don't know where are you guys i'm i'm actually in tennessee okay and and mark is in arizona we we were in i wasn't we were all together in arizona when we first started the podcast okay two years ago three years ago almost and then we i just recently moved to tennessee and mark's now in arizona still okay right on and so we're and, and are you in Canada or are you? Yes, I am in Canada right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I've been, I was in LA for a bit, but now I'm back in Canada. Um, so, well, the best thing that, the best advice I got, I mean, I don't know. It's, I think it's dependent on the city. Like, I don't know what the right. scene is like wherever you guys are. Where we are. Yeah. But. So, so, so he's in Arizona. Mm -hmm. Did I say that? Yeah. Arizona, yeah. Tennessee. Okay. So it's 
me, I'm not really, I don't yeah. care. But you're, you're okay. You're- <laughs> yeah, me, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. But him, he's close to LA, so I guess that would probably be the avenue he would probably have to go with his daughter, I would imagine, because it's so close. Yeah. Um, but Cause- I guess, like, maybe, like, the first step like a coach or like a, yeah well actually that's what i was gonna say so i started out in montreal um which was yeah. which was fine you know they shoot a lot of stuff there and like there was there was like an industry and um so the best advice i got was to take a class where they had like a showcase at the end and then like all okay. these managers and agents came and then like you kind of like sent out your materials and you were like, I met you at the showcase. Like what, like, I would love to have a meeting and like, see if you're interested in representing me. And then, um, the rest kind of, it all kind of happened from there. Like it was good to get a start. It was good to get my start in Montreal because it was like a small, smaller market. So, you know, like if there were a couple shows shooting, we got, I got to do, them and then you know after the, that was done um i was like okay like where else can i go in canada that would like you know allow me to do more and so i moved to toronto and at that point i already had a little bit of a resume so i was able to find an agent out there and so it kind of just like built but the but the the first step was definitely like a class and like you know getting to meet people through that class yeah very cool yeah is it, so in in canada just as a you know a naive American, mm-hmm. which, which, which is, is it, is it Toronto or would it be Ontario? Like, where's the, like the hot spot of like, of, like com- the industry like film and comedy, like yeah. the industry, right? Like good question. Is, is it- I mean, you know, Vancouver's great. Like they've got a ton yeah. of stuff. Um, the market is very like CW centric though. So like, if that's not what you're into, then maybe Toronto's the spot because then it's like, you know, they've got like What's grittier, free, 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 like, gritty. yeah, okay, like okay. quite a bit of sci-fi, like, you know, um, Schitt's Creek was there. Um, mm, yeah, and then, you know, I think comedy is kind of all over, but Montreal is like such a hub because of the, the Just for Laughs festival. So like every July there's like, the, that's like the, where it's, where it all started. I know they have a bunch of Just for Laughs festivals all over now, but it started in Montreal and like, that's where a ton of comedians got their start, like as they're, that they were like the new faces at Just for Laughs at one point. And then, you know, I think Amy Schumer got her start there and like um, Kevin Hart and like a bunch of other people. Um, uh, yeah. Toronto so area, right? That was in Montreal. Oh, Montreal. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah. So here, yeah, there's some big comedy clubs. So I know there was at one point Jeff Ross had like a, yeah, like the damn, what was it called when they're doing like the roast the battles? Roast battles. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah, that a roast battle yeah. there, and like yeah, and that's what that, that would have been the during the saw. festival, and that would have been like yeah. you know like so so I usually go. I mean, obviously the festival was shut down last year, but like every other year, it's so right. good to go. Just like everybody's there, and like it's like you get to go see such great shows and like meet a bunch of amazing people, and like it's such a good spot to be for comedy. Um, so yeah, you wouldn't think, but Montreal is the spot for sure in Canada. Wow. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Good to know. Uh-huh. So you said you were living in LA or that you were, were, were in LA. I was there for a little oh. bit. I was there for two months. I kind two of, months. I bounce around. I, I know. Between I'm... here or there and then Canada. Yeah, exactly. Like, how, how were you, like, did you like LA or what, what were your thoughts on LA? Was it a little bit too LA. weird or cool no. or like all that you thought of? I went at the perfect time because it was like Canada was still a little iffy with the vaccines at that point mm. and then like I and then like I so got, this was like last year probably no this was this was in May oh. this was in May okay yeah so okay. like Canada was still like we were a little behind uh I don't mm. know like you guys you guys are pretty much open right yeah Arizona I'm in Tennessee too. Yeah. So Arizona and Tennessee have been pretty, yeah, pretty like, like laxative with yeah. it compared to like California, New York. It's been pretty more like yeah, well, intense. Compared right? to in com- Canada too. Compared Canada to too. Canada, like LA was like oh, freedom. Like it was amazing. Really? Yeah. So Canada was more of a lockdown. Oh yeah, wow. like especially when I left, like it was still like people weren't fully immunized yet. They still aren't really. I like people are still yeah. waiting on their second doses and. um yeah, so I went out there and I was like, oh my God, cool. We get to like live and go to bars and eat at restaurants and, you know, 
it, it was great. So it was a good time to go. So yeah, my experience yeah, that, that is was definitely good. a good time to go. Yeah, and yeah. I think, they're even, I think they're even more open now than they were then. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. They or, were like, I think or, June 15th was like the day that everything was just kind of like, okay, like, take your masks off. Normal. Everybody, let's go. Like, yeah, no, we're free. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, and, and it's even crazy where I'm at, you know, in, in the South, right, in Tennessee. And it's, they, there's still people that are wearing masks too, even though everything's kind of, you know, it seems like it's back to normal. Mm -hmm. And there's still people that are doing it. So either it's, they're just still wearing them to be cautious, or maybe they have something that they just don't want to, maybe people, I don't yeah, know. maybe they're being so considerate they're, because they, they're they like, I have a cold and like, I know if I wear my mask, oh, it'll, oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's a good way to look at the food. Yeah. I had a friend yeah, who was telling so me, she was like, yeah, my parents always wear masks when they're sick. And I'm like, oh. That's so sweet. I never, wow. that never even yeah, that's, I never thought crossed of my that's mind. Whole new world. Yeah, exactly. Whole new world. Whole new world. And like, I remember, like, there was a time where every time I'd fly, I would get cold. Like, every time I got off the plane, I'd be like, mm. oh, here we go. Like, so honestly, of like all the things that I'm like going to to keep from COVID, I might keep wearing masks on the plane <laughs> just for my, just so I don't ruin my vacation. <laughs> just, and maybe and maybe that's why there's those pills. I don't know if you heard them. They're called airborne. Maybe that's why they have like those airborne pills where they give them when you're getting sick or before you get sick. Oh, that's smart. Of those? No. What is that? So they had those. So maybe that's why they kind of came up with that because so many people got sick on planes. Yeah. It's I got like strep. A, like, a, like there was a doctor. The doctor was like, oh yeah, this is airborne. You, you definitely got it on like the plane or something. I was like, what? Like, oh, wow. Yeah. yeah no, wow. I, I don't know. It's gross. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that, that, if that's, if there's anything, I'll keep wearing a mask for it's, it's going to be flight. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. I don't care what looks I get. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Be the only one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, Mark, welcome back. Welcome to the show. back. Um, <laughs> so yeah, my, my computer for some reason. So when I do these, I try to connect uh, hardwire to the internet because uh, my Wi-Fi does not like uh, Your location. my location. Your I guess, closet. yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and for some reason, it was already, it was still connected to the the Wi-Fi. And every time I need to switch them over, I have to reboot, which I did before we logged on. But for whatever reason, I don't know. Huh. Uh, we're, we've been dealing Science. with computer issues on this show for. Uh, since Scott moved to Tennessee. Uh, hey, don't blame me. Don't blame me. Yeah, I'm blaming you. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, you'd Tennessee. think. We sent men to the moon, but we can't We can't figure no. out the Wi-Fi. There's no, nope. it'll never. Yeah, right? Yeah. It will never be fixed. Never, never in a million years. It, it's funny. I brought the Wi-Fi closer to where I am and record, and it still didn't help. <laughs> and, and I had to, like, actually hardwire in. It's just, it's been a fiasco, especially with our podcast, which oh. I did hear on another podcast that you were on. That interview also was having internet issues. Maybe it's me. It like they had to end up. Yeah, it might be me. <laughs> I think Mark is my. I'm not trying to blame you. No, but no, no. I think Mark, I think Mark is the, is the uh, paid guy in the bushes because he, he definitely knows where you've been. So, yeah, good job, Mark. And I'm, I assume you've been is. listening the whole time that we've been talking as well. <laughs> of course he was, yeah. 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 In the bush. Uh, I that's where he, yeah. he feels safe. The you're that guy right there, aren't you? No wonder your internet's not working. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, what are you, no wonder you're in Rikers. That's pretty close to Canada. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the second he crossed the border, they got him. <laughs> they got him. They got him. He's in too many bushes. I you had a meeting. You have had a meeting, guys. <laughs> You have too many. <laughs> well, I'll have to yeah. do some sort of some sort of like anti Wi-Fi clogging spell on myself. Some sort of like energy realignment because it's obviously my fault. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not. Like we, we have been having issues for over a month now with our Internet. So it, the uh, it sticking out as long as it has. So far, has actually been Mark, pretty solid. Mark Miraculous. just has to get his own internet and stop painting, like taking the neighbors. Taking the neighbors. So that's, that's, yeah, yeah that's that's, I gotta, I gotta get my own Wi-Fi. Wi you know, yeah, I was, I was back. staying in a place where it kept connecting me to the downstairs neighbors. I'm like, no, forget the network, forget it. Like it was, yeah. I, I don't, I don't want this. I've got my own. It's fine. I swear. No way. Take yeah. it. 
no, no, it wasn't, it wasn't good. It. it didn't work. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Well, never I, of course, yeah, I used it. slower I, one. I wouldn't have noticed no, no. if it was working. I would have been like, great, cool, no problem. But it wasn't working. <laughs> well, the great thing about the program that we use, uh, it, it essentially is recording like on our devices and then sends it to me afterwards. So it's, even if I cut out like everything that you guys are doing, it's just, you would just go as is the the, the beauty of pro- post production, right. you know, like the the movie magic. I guess you yeah. could say. Well, we would never but forgive you, know that, you if you lost you know that. all that yeah. amazing material <laughs> that you were around for. Yeah, you, I know. Yeah, Scott, you Scott was the, trying to probe you for uh, all the connections that you have with Hollywood. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> and Hollywood. and I, if you miss them, I named them all. <laughs> uh, it's all gone now. It's all, all by gone. name and it's phone all... number. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was tons of gems there. You missed it. Did you just? Say I'll go back of, and listen. There's tons of gems there. No oh, gems, yeah. gems. Oh, gems. oh, gem. Because I was like, that's so funny. I was literally talking were to my friend this morning a, were about you dating a gym, and now it's it's like a tough subject. What no, happened? no, it's gym. Gym's not gym. The name is not a trigger for me. It's the gym, like mm. the location where you pump iron and oh, run on the yeah, treadmill. Yeah. yeah. No, I was literally just yeah. saying to my friend, I was like, the place I think I've seen the most Hollywood people is at the gym. Like, at oh. any gym in West Hollywood, that's like, that's where you go. Just hang out there in the Who'd bushes. Who you see? Tell, yeah. Who was struggling on, on like the, on the butterfly? You know what's the, funny? The is I never actually saw them doing any exercise. I just saw them kind of like walking around. <laughs> just wa- oh, they were just, oh, because they have their <laughs> own. Going like, if, they, if they were anybody, they have their own gym in their house. Right? Yeah. If, if they're anyone worth mentioning. Yeah. No. Yeah. So they're, they're going to be somebody who they're just like acting like they're there, like an everyday man. Yeah. No, I saw, I saw Dev Patel walking around the gym. I saw, mm. um, I want to say. Did you say Dave Attell? Dev Patel. Oh, Jeff Patel. Yeah. I was like, Dave Attell, he's like 65. No. I don't... Well, he like, goes to walk <laughs> around a gym. Out. You know, it's good to Maybe. see him. Maybe, yeah. that makes more sense. But I didn't yeah. see But I didn't see him, so <laughs> don't judge mm. um, I saw Dakota Johnston walking around. Um, mm. And then, like, my, okay, I don't, what is his name? Do Gray Scott. He was in that movie with Drew Barrymore called ever after he was like one of my first crushes oh, and like so no wonder no wonder oh, you, no. no wonder that light bell i was like bell, oh light my god bulb. it's the prince from ever after oh my god yeah <laughs> just walking around the gym <laughs> i had to look i had to look him up because I'm, I'm i've sadly not sadly i've seen the movie so you know so. <laughs> one of your first crushes too <laughs> it is his my, first one of mine too yeah the the mm-hmm. prince from ever after Oh yeah, yeah, that, <laughs> yeah. that was one. I you're mean, right. you're only human. That's <laughs> why. Yeah. We can. Well, yeah. How long? How long until uh, you know he he realized that you were actually following him around the gym? Oh were my god! I mean, <laughs> I'm so cool. Like the one time I didn't play it cool when I met a famous person was so embarrassing and like sad that I just like now when I see a celebrity, I'm just like, I'm sorry, I don't know who you are. Uh, I'll just be on the treadmill over here. Like, it was, do you guys ever, have you guys ever seen Kenny versus Spenny? No, I no. don't think so. It's a Canadian show, so I don't blame you, but like, it's two guys. I've heard of it. I've they like it. do content. Like, they have like competitions against each other, like to do like dumb stuff. Like, who can <laughs> wear, who can wear an octopus on their head the longest? Or like, who can like, stay awake the longest or like just dumb shit um and i met one of them at a party once and i was like oh my god i love your show and he was just like thanks and i was like oh, oh. no <laughs> never again never again <laughs> okay so so that's somebody that you like you really liked or you were intrigued I wasn't with even right that and... big a fan i was just like i like your show <laughs> but, but do, you, do you think like okay so have you other than that, have you met somebody? <laughs> that's funny. Have you met anybody that that like was like, I don't know, like on the pedestal of like awesome? Okay, that, like let you down. Can, I will tell because a story. I won't say. I'm sure that happens. I won't say his name because that's fine. That's I'm fine. Still, yeah, no name drop. I'm name still no holding name. out hope, but <laughs> it'll come around. It'll come around. It'll come around. Okay, so he he was like my sexual awakening, like. I loved Whoa. him, like heartthrob. I was like twelve. He was like in his early twenties. I was like 
this is my man. I'm when gonna I'm, do, I'm going to do the math. I'm going to do the math and figure it out, but keep going. I, I was like, like, I remember like I'd have dreams about him. And like, when I woke up, I'd Whoa. be like, I would do the math. I'd be like, okay, like if I'm 12 now, but I meet him in my twenties, like then it won't be that weird. So then <laughs> cut to wow. me in my twenties. I have a daughter. That scares me. I'm sorry, but it's, it's happening. <laughs> like don't show that her happens. any that movies happens. with handsome men. Like there's just, oh, don't do well, it. Everything. Zach Efron, get out of there. Or sorry, I just dated myself. Who's the hot guy now? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. No, I. I, I, I still think Zach Efron. Uh, yeah. So. It, uh, yeah. Maybe he is. Come on. Spider Man. I think that's who it is. Uh, no, that's that. Uh, you're thinking of uh, something Holland. What's his name? Yeah, that's that's. Yeah. Mark gets mad at his his daughters for liking him. Okay, so like yeah, they're yeah, Mark, in their mind think. going like, okay, when I'm a certain age, it won't be that mm-hmm. weird. Like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she, that's not even her mind. That that's her out loud projecting. Oh that. yeah, right. I'm sure I said it out loud. <laughs> literally, literally heard that, and I'm yeah. like, what? the hell are you doing exactly exactly he's so not a real spider watch out he's not a real spider <laughs> yeah who wants to a shit spider? Ton of oh good he's not a real spider of course like you buy you... a bunch of fucking bug spray <laughs> <laughs> just in case yeah <laughs> no well you're buying bug spray yeah she would be like yeah, yeah. Put the bug yeah. Spray away. but no it could happen because like you know 12 years later i'm at a bar in la <laughs> and i'm like it's oh, him it's him oh, <laughs> This is like a Hallmark movie. Tell me what happened. I know. So I'm talking I'm talking to this guy who my friend was actually trying to set me up with. And I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's that guy. I won't say who. And he's like, oh, he's a buddy of mine. Would you like to meet him? And I was like, okay, but just don't tell him I know uh, who he is, okay? Just don't tell damn. him. Was it Holly? Stupid Holly. I was with Holly. <laughs> but it wasn't her. It wasn't her. But she was yeah, there. It was another Holly? She was there. Yeah, she was okay, there. So, so I, he introduces us and we like have like a conversation and he asks me for my phone number. And the whole time I'm just like, <gasps> we're going to get married. No way. All my friends oh are going to be like, gonna happen. all my friends are going to be like, oh my God, I can't believe you did it. Like, it's just like 20 years in the making. And, uh, we <laughs> texted back and forth for like two days you yourself again. and then we never saw each other ever again. <laughs> uh... I'm still holding out hope. I still believe there's time. There's time. that I mean, we'll it was see. only like three years ago or we'll so. Meet again. We'll come back. Yeah. I think it was three this years is, ago. So it's a love story writing right. itself PI. right now. It's unfolding before our eyes. Exactly. Our PI is really good. I exactly. don't know how I knew three years, but <laughs> Yeah. I've had a lot of time to learn and grow and find out everything about him and you know, so I'll be prepared when I see him again. <laughs> well nice. You know, Red Pitts had a really uh, hard decade this past, you know, you know, he got married and then he got mm-hmm. divorced and mm-hmm. he did the New Orleans thing. So we know, you know, it, it's Brad Pitt. So it's just, you, you know, how did you know? Pitt? You guys, you got me. It was Brad. We're good. It We're was good. Brad. Just like, hopefully he doesn't it's watch always, this. It's, it's always so Brad. embarrassing. Always the, yeah, it's always Brad. It's, uh, it's yeah. You know, it's Brad. Always always Brad. No, there was a, there, <laughs> there was an ad in like a British newspaper after he divorced Angelina Jolie. And it just said, Brad is single, flights to LA, like 300 pounds. <laughs> that was no the end. way. Yeah. I think I took a picture. That's hilarious. Yeah. It's very funny. I don't remember what airline it is, but I should only fly them exclusively because that's oh, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's a that's nicely done. Yeah. Nice Any ad that speaks to me that way deserves all my business. That's how I feel. Right? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So yeah, it was Brad Pitt. No. <laughs> <laughs> of course it was. Well, it's yeah. always Brad, like we said. It's always Brad. So what? What are with with not, not to derail all the the funny with the, the story and everything with Crossroads? <laughs> yeah, right. uh, to derail the funny. So let's funny. talk about Crossroads. Let's yeah, yeah. Let's be serious. Let's talk about the, yeah. Let's move on to something more did. serious. Yeah. Crossroads. <laughs> Just ruined it. It's a very serious comedy. <laughs> Tell that episode. Yeah. It's, so this episode was, it, it, so one episode's out. Uh, uh, there's plans for more, right? Yes, yes. We've shot episode two. We're in post, so it should be dropping soon. We wanted to give it time, but not too much time. I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not in marketing. I don't know. Yeah. Um, ask Peter. <laughs> yeah. 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 But the second is shot. It's in the can, so it's like ready to almost ready to go and then we obviously we have plans for 
next episodes for future episodes. Um, and like, fortunately COVID has kind of, I think things are going to loosen up a bit, so it'll be easier to shoot. Yeah. Cause yeah. yeah, like shooting in the pandemic was like for a small production, it's almost not worth it. Like I almost called the union and was like, you know what? Never mind. I'm good. <laughs> so you've quashed yeah. my creativity. <laughs> um, wow. That, that, yeah. That is tough. Yeah. Yeah. Like with such a small crew too, you know, they're like, everybody has to quarantine for 14 days before you shoot. I'm like, guys, really? Like, wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, so a lot of protocols went into place with, with all the COVID and everything like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. She, she was saying, look, you might've, I don't know if you heard, but she was saying when she you came heard. to, yeah, <laughs> in, in LA that it was, it was more laid back than it was in Canada. Canada was more like crazy and, so it was like a, a vacation for real when she yeah. was there, even though California was crazy amongst the rest of the, amongst the, the US. states. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's kind of crazy. They were just so, they they just opened up, didn't they? So they're that yeah. they're like yeah. pretty relaxed at this point. Yeah. Well, it also depends with California. There, there's like area. There were pockets during COVID. Like if you were anywhere near like Huntington Beach in California, yeah. it. COVID didn't exist there. Everything was open. Everybody was doing everything. It was crazy. Oh. They, we went and visited a couple times during COVID, uh, and Huntington Beach was open like it was uh, Daytona Beach in fucking spring no break. Huh. Oh, I didn't know that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So it, I guess it all depends on where the news is telling you what's Yeah. Bad is because Huntington is like pretty <laughs> right leaning, I, I assume, right? <laughs> yeah. Are they? I yeah. don't know. I don't know. I would. I mean, I'm, I'm just sure based that, on their I'm COVID sure behavior. I'm sure there's some right. <laughs> I'm sure there's some right areas in California. Yeah, which I think I, guess I would I think, think more like farmland. I won't put words but, in their mouth. Like I won't like assign them a political party yeah. or anything. But I think I think. Well, no, yeah, no, 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 we, no, we, we need to right define this now. Let's right let's figure this out. Yeah, now. let's Let get to the bottom of this. <laughs> <laughs> Let me call a friend. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, go ahead. With with uh, with, with uh, all the production issues that you had with COVID, now obviously it's going to be uh, you know lifting a lot, and you're going to have more flexibility of of all these other uh, episodes. Uh, do you have like a certain amount planned, and and are you guys going to be doing it uh, like season by season, or or like what's the plan with essentially Crossroads? That- again, this first episode was pretty hilarious. Uh, obviously, I found the prison letter. Riker's <laughs> joke. Agreed. Uh, I think I really think, funny. I think you should try, try to, to work that in more often. Incorporating too. it, the prison honestly. stuff. Okay, <laughs> yeah, noted. Just, I mean, just because just because me and Mark both have been in there, uh, right? So we know prison life. Yeah. So it's it's rough. Yeah. And so to bring or it even back, like, I mean, you know, or even do like a fan home. meet and greet and like do like a fan meet and greet and one of the pr- and one of the <laughs> the fans there oh. is from the just got out of the one fan there. Still guys Here we go. No, no, you, no. Eventually, you meet that one big fan that loves you so much, or whatever, mm-hmm. and you meet him, and you, you know, you put your hands on the glass, and you're talking to him through the glass. <laughs> Brilliant, genius. Brilliant. So we just need access yeah. to a prison. <laughs> yeah, I got. Yeah. I know. I know two guys you can call right now. Oh, fantastic! Oh, see yeah. connections. Just numbers. making them happen. Connections. Yeah, You're making it happen. Um, we like end up in some jail in Arizona. <laughs> of course, yeah. You know, yeah, that's that's my Shooting connection. Has yeah. taken us to all different places across the globe. Um, but yeah, no, there's there's plans for different season. We have six episodes a season, but like okay. we've got we really had to stay flexible in terms of like what we want to do versus what we end up doing because yeah. you know it's just like the logistics of it are, are a lot more challenging than like you would think um and like you know having to like get different actors and like you know the I, we'll we'll see what the protocols are like with covid uh when we go back into production because yeah if we can keep it to like a bare minimum like, in like terms better, of crew the better covid in a sense like the the freer COVID, the freer co- yeah, the freer COVID protocols, the freer yeah, COVID. Um, the freer COVID, yeah, I like that. So we've got a plan, but we'll see if we can stick to said plan. <laughs> yeah, I guess yeah. I guess you'll never know because I haven't told you what you, it is. You don't. <laughs> yeah, it's all yeah. up in the air. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. 
Well, with doing this with uh, you know, Jesse was is or was involved, and then uh, Pete's involved. Like, is Pete then show running this essentially with his network, you or, know, or like what what's the process with all this the post stuff? Um, so that's a good. I mean, I think that like that's something we might look into like in the future. Um, cause for mm-hmm. now, like he's kind of like our network and he's like sort of our, um, okay. like our platform. But, um, I know that like, we've talked about like his involvement in the future and like what that will look like. So, um, it's ever changing, you know, um, we, nice. we don't, yeah. Like Go I said, the flow. we have plans, but like, we also don't know what's going to happen. So <laughs> plans yeah yeah you know yeah. Play it by ear. yeah exactly but like obviously we like anyone who wants to like get involved and like loves the project we're like absolutely like what do you want to do like here you go so it, we're very can open can i just to... hold a mic can i just hold a mic uh absolutely <laughs> get on over <laughs> here let's go <laughs> boom guy yeah well our our camera guy has actually been begging us for better sound so you're hired <laughs> You're yeah, in. You're I have I have yeah, microphones. We can do this. I have microphones. Careful what you wish for because you're gonna be put to work, buddy. <laughs> so my daughter would be in. so jealous. Wait, wait, you're working on an Yeah, a you're in. Yeah. You got it. You, you your wish is our command. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well you already know Jesse. What? And you know Erica now. Yeah, yeah, right. You're, you're in. in. We'd love to work with you. I can. I think I can speak for him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hilarious. That's awesome. So we have a few questions that we like to ask near the end of the show uh, that open Pandora's box sometimes. Okay. I mean, so with, with these questions, some of them are a little off, uh, off no, cuff, I guess not. you could say. Yeah, no, they're, they're, they are. They're, they actually probably would fit this episode perfectly just because of how crazy uh, it's been with uh, the internet and all of our antics uh, <laughs> thus far. No, no, family um, photo talk? No way. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, with, with these questions, again, if you're like, ah, and just not feeling it, just let us know. Uh, but with uh, our first question, we have a running skit on the show. Uh, when we first started, we, we ended up having a guest from Australia, a rapper called Muggsy. Uh, and, um, at that time I, I was drinking a lot <laughs> during the, the, the actual uh, episodes and drunkenly I asked him, you know, is Australia real? And we <laughs> kind of evolved this a little bit. And just recently uh, I've been watching a lot of documentaries, especially on flat earth theory. Uh, we, we had a guest on a few weeks ago, uh, Dave Sierra and, and a flat earther? Uh, he kind of opened, he, he, he's a no, comedian he in not. LA. Oh. He, yeah. He, but, yeah. But, but, I'll let Mark finish. But yeah. Okay. But so he opened a Pandora's box for me with all of this flat earth theory stuff. And I'm just kind of been listening a little bit more and, and kind of uh, just, uh, doing a little bit more research on it because, we, Mark's, I've Mark's been converting. Project- Mark's converting. <laughs> yeah, I'm convert- converting. What, what yeah. do you believe? Well, you know? no, because I've been kind of pitching this as, yeah, I've been pitching this as, hey, if you're a flat earther, no offense, but you know, yeah. if you believe yeah, no. in this theory, the flat earth theory, it, you know, it, 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 there you could think- be possibilities. Okay, so I'll start yeah. with no, don't yeah. worry, or not offending me, because I'm, I believe the world is round. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, I'm angry now, but keep going. (laughs) Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. It's all right. You know, I'm mad, but keep going. Tell me why. Oh, why do I believe the (laughs) earth is round? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm really, I'm really not, I'm really not a, a flatter. No, I know, I know, I, I yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, trying to, he's trying to play on it. I like, I like how this, is, where this is going. So I'm just kind of letting it play out. No, no, no. You can finish your question. I just, you know, you were like, I don't want to offend anyone. I'm like, don't worry about offending me. Maybe worry about offending <laughs> Scott. Um, but I'm so angry. Yeah, Mark, shut up. Look at the rage. Well, anyway, this, well, yeah, what's funny is I'm trying to find a way. Uh, a new way to pitch it without having to say hey you know if you're a flat earther i'm not trying to poke fun at you or anything like that because that's how i was kind of pitching it uh essentially when you get on a plane right you, you flew you flown you came to la and things like that you yep. fly for six seven eight hours mm-hmm. well usually we're, we're like we're at in the states if we get on a plane and fly to australia we're in there for a day yeah like it's just there there's no getting off that plane 
And, and what I've been proposing is, how do you know you land in Australia? What 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 projects that says, okay, well, I'm here in Australia. Australia is actually a real place. And they didn't like land you on Antarctica because uh, Anna, there or are places place, in Antarctica. Maybe you're in Africa. Who yeah, knows? you like, don't know. Maybe you're just landing somewhere. Like you don't know where on the globe you actually are. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. you know how you would know is, well, okay. the, the GPS? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was going to say is if you look at your yeah, phone yeah. and you zoom out on the map, it'll be like, you're here, you are here. And also right. like well, the okay. flight people will be like, you just landed in Sydney and I would hope that they're honest. Oh, okay. So you're, you're all right. You're so giving you're a lot of trust. To my in faith, it. yeah. The pilots and the tech so companies you... are in on it. All right, so the, that's what we have to I think that. there was a reality show, or I don't know if it was real or what, where they did fly people around in for four hours, and we're like, okay, you're now like in a different country, and like you're training to, to, go to figure space, out where you are, and like. I don't think it was about figuring out where you were. It was just that, like, it was That's like a brilliant show. We should pitch that. We we'll try to figure out where you are. You just fly around the world and, and try where to are you? Out where you, you have are. to figure out where the hell you are. Dude, I feel like that would be way too make it easy. Back home. Oh, make and then so, make it back home. Yeah. Oh uh, well, you know what? Okay, as long as I had like like security, because like I don't know, as a white girl going to certain places, like I don't know if that's like. I don't know, like if, if I'd be well, safe. Well, the first everywhere. season, maybe we'll, we'll do dudes. Yeah, <laughs> for a little bit. Yeah, yeah great. Just to be safe. Great idea. And, yeah, and I'm tell, sure the networks will love that. A, a dude, a dude and a girl combo. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, bit, yeah, right? yeah. Right. Like a couples, a couples. Mm -hmm. Right. Here yeah. You are. Make it back home. Yeah. Oh shit. All right. Well, you're blindfolded the whole time, or you have like some melatonin. Yeah. You fly. I mean, or, I'm sure, or you don't we, have to blindfold it. Do, the sky looks like the sky. <laughs> so, yeah. The sky yeah, is sky. We, we could do it <laughs> with, with the blindfold. You're right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> we could do it with a twist and be like, well, if you guys survive, then you win. Oh, shit. What does that mean? <laughs> so you have to sign up for that? If you lose, you What's die. Gonna happen? That just, the, yeah. it doesn't seem <laughs> worth it to me. Like, I'm not going to sign up. I'm not going to play. Yeah. It's play. like the Hunger Games. I'm like, yeah. I went to die. I do not volunteer as tribute. They they probably have to sign that though. Think about it. They just drop them anywhere. If you guys die, then we can't be liable. Yeah, like who would sign yeah. that waiver? <laughs> That's got to be a thing they have I to mean, sign. We do it all the time. Skydiving, you know, like I don't know, go oh, karting. Yeah, they yeah, make yeah. you sign a waiver, and they're like, "Yeah, hopefully you don't die." Yeah. Good all right. luck. Well, all right, let's work on this show, guys. After yeah. this, we'll work on this. All right. So with so, my off way that I pitched this, what I came my what I came with from you is that Australia is real. Yeah. Uh, and we can figure out via GPS yeah. and the flight attendant being, being very honest. Being honest. And we're um, gonna make so hunger I, games out of this. Yes. And a TV show. <laughs> and somehow yes. Australia. Could, you know, it's funny is we just we had a, 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 a someone from Australia too last week that on and we we asked this to him too <laughs> and he totally played into it. He's like, yeah, actually, we're paid actors. <laughs> All of them, actors. all of the Australians are yeah. just putting on an accent. They They're all paid actors. Like... Yeah. So every time, every time the Google plane comes, he has to mow the yard and like <laughs> act like they're doing shit, like like Truman Show. I mean, <laughs> look, it's said. very remote. It's very far. I, I, you know what? Possibly. I'll believe it when I, I've never been to Australia. I'll believe it when I see it. Me neither. You know. Um, also, you know, I just as a side note, I don't think you need to preface with like no offense to flat earthers. Like, I don't think that that's like a controversial thing. Like, I think that's a really small segment of the population. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think you're good. It, well, you think, well, it is. Well, Mark, we 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 actually had somebody who he wasn't offended, but his father-in-law was a flat earther. <laughs> yeah, but like, yeah, I got right. Every, like the embarrassing father-in-law, like. The one you'd like, yeah, it yeah. probably was for him. Yeah, they fought every Thanksgiving. Yeah, so it's a sore subject, <laughs> but he's like, it's fine. You can call him an idiot. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, where his, that's yeah. where his dance was. Yeah. It's like his version of like the racist uncle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll have to. We'll have to. Um, yeah, I got to figure out a new way to pitch this. So that, then that's why I've been trying to do this research with the flat Earth stuff, so I can like make a point of reference versus apologizing um, yeah, right off. Maybe say that. like. Uh, as the great basketball player Kyrie Irving says, <laughs> he it's flat what does he say? I don't follow. He, he thinks it's a flat Earth. Ky yeah, he thinks I, we're I on a flat know. Earth. He, he just thinks Kyrie Irving, basketball player, mm -hmm. which I don't even know where he plays for anymore. He believes that it is flat. So 
He plays I mean, in he, he plays in Australia. He do, oh, yeah, he does. Yeah. He probably does. Um what he has like he's famously just like a flat earther and like he's just Yeah. 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 He came, yeah. came out and he'll, he'll actually die on said, that hill. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's not yeah, it's just gotten awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think you're, I mean, I appreciate the, um, the sensitivity and the, uh, you know, trying to just understand both sides just of just it. Just in case. Yeah, the just in case, but yeah, no. I, maybe, so this, this, sorry, go ahead. This next question <laughs> might, uh, this next que question might feed into what you're, you're kind of going on with right now. <laughs> what is, what is, name something a lot of people uh, like to do that you can't stand. Um, Ooh. I know. Uh, like anything like a parade, Flat Earth related, a parade, <laughs> dumb, yeah, ignorant people, I don't dumb, know. People. Um, dumb people, dumb people. Uh, yeah. sorry, Flat Earthers, but yeah, you are. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, parades, I don't like, I don't <laughs> like, oh parades. my god, I agree, I, my hands up. Oh, oh wow, like. Parades. Amusement parks, oh. parades, anything where like people gather and like it's supposed to be fun and you're just like this is crowded and like germy and like if a zombie apocalypse started right now, we'd all be fucked. Like it, it's just I don't wow. I like that's not even my worst concern. It's just it's one of them. No, and, that's a brilliant concern that you brought up because yeah. now I'm even more scared of them. Sorry. Um and like it's never that joyous. Like it's just I remember <laughs> the 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 Raptors one in Toronto a few years ago and dinosaurs were there. What was going on? <laughs> the Raptors basketball team. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. You guys won. Yeah. Good no, job. the Raptors won. They came back. Yeah. They're not extinct anymore. It's official. Um, oh my God. The dinosaurs won basketball. Yeah. No, the dinosaurs won basket one B ball. And, um, I kind of, I met someone to like be like part of the action. Then I was like, what am I doing? And then I couldn't get home. Like I, I had to take like all these side streets. It took me like four mm. hours to get home just to avoid Fuck like parades. the walls of Fuck people. Parades. Why? Yeah, because it, they, they almost it, it was like a uh, festival that just like basically took place, right? Like yeah. it, it was a uh, Times Square yeah. for New Year's Eve, essentially, yeah. right? Yes, and but the thing about New yeah. York is that they've figured it out. Like, don't go to Times Square, but you can still maneuver and get around. And like be somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Whereas in Toronto, it's like pride happens and forget it. You're not going west and if you live east, and you're not going east if you or you know what I mean. Like you're not crossing the city. Yeah. It's not gonna happen. If there's a marathon, if there's a festival, if there's a parade, forget it. Just stay home. <laughs> like or go. Or wow. go. Yeah. We don't I, we I, I am hundred percent in agreement. This is why we can't parades. have nice things. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so true. We, opened, we opened a wound here dude oh yeah God, you it. should yeah there's oh you know what you know another thing that should be illegal oh yeah what, is, what grinds your yeah you guys live in warm places so that's fine you don't yeah, you probably don't south, get yeah. this but uber eats should not allow bicycles in the winter your food arrives no. cold no. Oh my god. I don't care if you got the little insulating That's a thing container. for you guys? Yes. Like it'll be snowing and they'll be like, you know, your Uber pickup is on a bike. Can and I'm like, pick, can you pick your cancel. means of transportation? No. Wait. <laughs> you should be able to pick your means of transportation. I know. I'm like, I'd like it to get here as quickly and as warmly <laughs> as possible. <laughs> So that's that's another avenue that we need. Okay, take off here. We need to pitch that to. Uber I should go into politics. <laughs> yeah, no, we, have, no, we need to be like in a think tank and like make in this happen, tank. make these companies happen, right? Yeah. So, so this flat Earth idea, or what was the other one? We had something else going on. Um, oh yeah, burn the parades. Burn the parades, and Uber Eats can't do Uber bicycles Eats. if it's in There's the minuses. Else. I remember there was something else that made a great idea, but. There's the reality so many, show. Many, There's too many. many we'll have to look back. We'll have to watch it back. We will. We have to watch it. Yeah. We we'll have to watch it after. Amazing nuggets we came up with. Yes. These brain nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the answer to your question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck parades. I agree. Yeah. Mark, do you think the same thing? You fuck parades? Would you like to fuck a parade? <laughs> I met a stripper named Parade once. Was that the question? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, if yeah, if it's a stripper, yes, it's yes. Definitely I mean, that's a like a parade. <laughs> oh my god, can you imagine a stripper named Parade? Hi, my name's Parade. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my, uh, what Let me parade in for? front of you naked. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's cool. And she's she she uh she she's emphasized in, in all the right places, right? So the parade is just trailing her behind. Uh, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. She's got a she's got wow. a trail following her. <laughs> next next wow. to the state parade. It's <laughs> a class so, lady. With, with the last question. Uh, with all of our brilliant ideas, and now I have to uh, find a stripper named Parade. Uh, <laughs> Check. What, what, what is a uh, piece of information in your life that you have learned that feels illegal to know? Ooh, some Canada law. So to give you some ideas, we've had some people say that you can park in any handicapped spot in California and you probably won't get towed. Really? Well, you'll get a ticket. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. Like if they, they, they're probably giving you the benefit of the doubt. I don't know. Okay. Well, I've had a friend. That's I mean, that's that not Cali- It wasn't in California. It was in Toronto. But you, you know, do the same thing. It no. Toronto. He got a big, got a big ticket. It was like five hundred. Oh, bucks. okay. Yeah. Oh. But you did get towed. Ouch. I've been towed twice. On the other hand, um, because oh. this actually all leads into the same story. The piece of information that I learned myself when I first moved to Toronto from Montreal was that if you have an out of province license plate you can park anywhere and they will like they'll give you a ticket but you'll go online and they'll say the ticket's already been paid it's free so wow. yeah so the first year and a half maybe two years i was there i was just like <laughs> parking anywhere which is why I got towed <laughs> twice. Um, I, love, I love the middle finger too while you did it. That's all. Yeah, the, no, she did, no, it's yeah, not even just the middle you. finger. She did the Rick and Morty middle finger. Well, yeah, that was a good one. Thank that you. Was <laughs> peaceful to the whole world. <laughs> yeah, because it's not aggressive. It's just like, ha ha la. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. That's um, a good one. And yeah, so so the so that I abused that pretty badly. Like it was just once a day, thirty bucks <laughs> here, sixty bucks there, whatever like taking screenshots of just like this ticket's been paid. Okay. I'm covered. Sorry. And then the one time I, it was in a, like a tow zone, like for like, if you were parked here between four and six, we'll tow you. I literally went to go get a tip for my hairdresser, got back and the car was gone. I was like, 10 minutes guys. Really? I beat my car to the tow to the impounding lot. (laughs) I I beat it there. (laughs) um but that so that piece of information was like that's like, good to know for canada well i think they changed yeah, it, is. it i think they changed it but that was oh, a moment in oh, time so yeah that's old well one of yeah. our listeners they can they can test that out and let us know uh we, yeah, we're not gonna pay for your tickets but just yeah <laughs> i don't have a car anymore so just have like anyone with an out of oh because they kept it the whole time that's <laughs> i just <laughs> left it there and i never went back down. It's still at the impound lot. <laughs> oh, I hate it when that happens. I hope someone claimed it. <laughs> yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. This was great. Uh, I really appreciate that you were able to come on uh, and uh, you know, had all this love fun. This is all, this is all hilarious. Thank you for having uh, me. This has can been you great. Tell us, can you tell us where we can find you? And if you want to have anything that you want to promote, feel free to, well, to let us you shine. You know where to find me. You're stalking me. <laughs> you yes. know where I am outside your times. windows. <laughs> but uh, like on Instagram, you can find myself, uh, Erica Deutschman, at Erica Deutschman, all one word. Uh, and you can follow Erica Rhodes at Erica underscore Rhodes underscore Crossroads. Spelt R H O D E S in both cases, um, and that's that's where you can find. Oh, and watch the show. Uh, it's on Pop Alternative TV. It's called Crossroads. <laughs> we do that Very too. Cool. Do that too. <laughs> watch it all. Yeah, well, that's all you can find me on. <laughs> awesome. Again, appreciate it. Thank you. Me goes out. Much. 
This has been the Amigos PC. Make sure to like, subscribe, and review us on all your podcasting platforms. And visit us at AmigosPC.net. Get our entire library of content and Amigos merch. Till next time. Adios.